Okay, welcome to Art with Jim Freehart. I'm excited to be here today and happy to have you join me. I'm going to be doing a sketch today using a solid graphite pencil. This one's a 6B and that means it's pretty soft and can be smudged. So I'm going to do some of that smudging today. Basically, I'm going to do a different version of one of my most popular um, tutorials about a surfing wave, a crashing wave, but this one will have the light coming through the back of the wave and um, we'll have some sort of transparency there and we'll be able to see that because we'll put some foam on the wave that will be really dark compared to the light coming through the back of the wave. Um, and then I'll show you a painting at the end of this that um, where I actually painted something similar to the sketch I'm doing. Okay, uh, let's begin. All I have here is a simple little clipboard and some printer paper and a graphite pencil, solid graphite. I'm going to start off with um, kind of an oval or a teardrop shape. So here we go. I'm going to make sure I do this dark enough so you all can see it. So there's sort of an oval shape, but watch what happens if I just make it into a bit of a teardrop here. There we go. That's the shape we're wanting to start with. I don't have it standing up straight. I've got it tipped sideways like that. And this is going to be one side of the wave that's falling over and crashing, and this will be the peak of the wave. And sometimes it's not all smooth and even, but is kind of reaching up and breaking up, starting to break up into droplets of water. So there we go. There's the basic shape. This will be the side of the wave where the um, water is just the wave standing up. It's kind of straight up and down here, as you can tell by these lines. And then that wave starts to peak and start to fall over, start leaning beyond straight up and down. It's starting to crash. So here's part of the wave coming up and arching over, starting to fall over. On the other side of this peak here, where the water droplets are breaking up, the water starts to fall over, just like a waterfall. See how gradual I am doing this? It's going sideways and then curving and falling down. Sideways, curving and falling over. A real nice even curve. When that, the water drops or the lip of the wave here comes down to the bottom of the wave down here, it starts to splash up and this will be like Kind of the way I draw clouds, little puffy sort of curved lines. Here it is, the foam along here, the foam all the way at the top of the wave at the peak, and the top of the wave here is kind of like scalloped. In other words, it's not like an M, but more like a little W with the lines curving up, coming to little peaks. There we go, here's the wave looking basically inside the barrel of the wave right here. There it is, these few lines. I'll show you the shape of that, the barrel of the wave. There it is, the water coming along and arching up. Here it is, not quite as steep. And here it is falling over like a waterfall. Well, there it is. There's the basic shape of the wave. Now we can play around a little bit with uh, light and light coming through the wave. So it's all about contrast. So let's suppose we have some foam here on the water laying on the face of the wave, and the, the foam starts coming up. If you ever watch foam as it's on the water, there are swirls in the water, and it pushes the foam aside so that you end up with these kind of 
swirls of foamless water and then foam all around that. So let's see if we can do that and show you what I mean. Because what we're going to do is use the foam on the face of the wave coming up here as a way to contrast the brilliant light coming through the back side of the wave. So here's, here's the foam. I'm going to make it pretty dark. And one way I can do it too is use a different texture. So suppose with the foam, I use little dots. I've actually never done this before this way, but I'm just trying it out today. Here are the little dots to make it look sort of different than the smoothness of the wave where there isn't foam. There we go. Where the wave comes down, eventually it ends up going sideways like this. Here's just a little bit of water on the, in the trough of the wave. Here's the wave pitching up. Here's the wave starting to break up into water drops. And here's the lip of the wave to really define the shape of the wave as it comes over. And here's looking inside the, the barrel. Now watch what I can do with this special pencil. I can just take my fingers, kind of start working them back and forth here, pressing pretty hard on my drawing, and it kind of colors it in there. Over here for contrast, this is going to be the wave falling over. And to make it contrast the foam on the wave, I'm going to make this pretty dark in here. All of my lines that are here for shading, I'm using them in the same direction as the movement of the water, so that it makes, uh, if I were to you know, uh, shade it sideways, it wouldn't have the same feel as if I have the shading following the lines of the crashing wave. Same thing here. I did put some sideways shading to show the um, the foam, but here it is, here it is again. The foam, pretty dark, especially dark right where it um, comes against the lightest part of the wave, which is right in here, where the light just comes beaming through the back of the wave. So let's see how this is going to work here. As it gets down below here, this all wants to be a lot darker here just to contrast the light interior of the wave with that beautiful kind of greenish, yellowish glow is coming through the back of the wave. Once again, I'm, the lip of the wave, I'm making it a little extra dark here just to make it really stand out and contrast this part of the wave where the light's coming through. This is getting even darker under here. Now, sometimes I'll take my drawing, my hand happens to be in a good position to make this beautiful curve here. But sometimes I'll take my paper and turn it whatever way I need to, to let my hand rest below the wave and I'm right-handed so I can make a really nice curve like that. If you were left-handed, you might have to even flip this over to make the curve the way you want it to be. See that? So don't be afraid to move your paper around and um, get it in the best position to make your lines um, nice and even and smooth. So there we go. I'm going to darken it even more here along the front edge of the foam. Super dark in here and along here, along here, going up the face of the wave. Now I'm going to take my fingers again and do a little bit more smudging here.
pushing really hard and holding on to my paper. Or over here, too, if I, if I want to make this wave look a little bit glassy or shiny, I'm going to make it super dark here, way down where the water is uh, kind of out of the light. The light that's shining down on it, like on top, might be glistening along the top of the wave. So this might be lighter here. This might be the darkest part of the top of the wave, and this would be the darkest part of the underside or interior of the wave here in the barrel. Okay, that's pretty good. It's a neat way you can kind of take the foam and you want to make it look um, as if the water is reflective in front of it. Watch what I'm doing, just pulling lines vertically straight down. Suppose I have some shadow in here in the foam. I'll take my fingers and smudge that straight below it. Vertical lines. And then I break that up with my sideways pencil lines. You could do the same thing with an eraser. Erase a little bit there. All right. That may be enough for our little, our lesson today. If I wanted to have a wave behind this, Here's how I would do it. There's the next wave coming in the set. Same thing, these lines here are matched here on the, on the wave that's coming in behind, but they're not quite as steep. They're not up and down like that. They're just laying over like this. There we go, that gives a little bit of an impression of the next wave in the set coming in. I'll take my finger and smudge that. And there we go, I'm gonna put my little signature, Jim. Free heart. Celebrate the gift of life. I hope you do. I make that a point every day. Uh, if you like the video, Give me a little thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like to see some more um, sketching. And soon I'll be getting into some uh, demonstrations in color with um, acrylic paints, which is what I work with professionally. I'm mostly an outdoor painter. And here's one of my paintings I'm going to show you. This is the light coming through a surfing wave. Let's see if we can get this. There it is, sort of just what we sketched, showing the, uh, the light I was talking about on the top of the wave, the light just beaming through the back, and then these little bits of foam laying on the face of the wave. So there we have it. This was something I did from imagination after spending time on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. Okay. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for being part of uh, Art with Jim Freehart.